Law enforcement officers have seized more illicit drugs and vehicles as part of ongoing operations by traffic police of the Royal St. Lucia Police Force this week. 237 vehicles were stopped and a total of 102 tickets were issued at various checkpoints and roadblocks set up by police officers. Two male individuals were arrested for possession of controlled drugs believed to be cannabis during an operation on Tuesday, May 12, 2020. Two vehicles were also impounded and 26 tickets issued on that same day. Meanwhile, traffic police also impounded six vehicles during a separate operation on Wednesday, May 13, 2020. One of the automobiles seized by the authorities was bearing a pass from the National Emergency Management Organization, which grants permission to people who need to traverse the roadways during the COVID-19 curfew hours for work purposes. Despite the relaxation of COVID-19 measures, the law enforcement community is sending a strong message to the motoring public that the ongoing pandemic will be no excuse for the violation of the Road Traffic Act. Traffic police are warning members of the motoring community to ensure that their papers are in order. Law enforcement officials are urging motorists to ensure that their driver's licenses, motor vehicle registration and insurance are up to date. Last month, authorities arrested and charged two women for the possession of over 360 pounds of marijuana aboard an automobile in the south of the island. The vehicle in question bore a Nemo Pass. Lawmen, lawmen and first responders have raised concerns about the recent uptick in road crashes and mishaps with the phased reopening of the economy and society over the past few weeks. Notwithstanding the challenges of the pandemic, the police department reminds the public that they must abide by the laws of the land. The transport board has resumed operations to facilitate the processing of motor vehicle registration, insurance and driver's licenses. Colby Devoe, HTS News Force.